Hi, everybody. Welcome to my first ever playthrough of Banjo-Kazooie. This is the Xbox Live Arcade version of it. Let's press start to play. Um, this game... Uh, but you are currently offline. I will continue playing offline because I'm not on an Xbox Live account, actually. So I'm going to, I guess, leaderboards and stuff's probably uh, Xbox Live. Um, so let's go to play game. We shall choose. Uh, use the left sticks to select a game. Um, so he's cooking in game two. In game one, he's sleeping. Well, he's playing a game in game three, so of course I'm going to choose game three. Ding pot, ding pot, by the bench. Who is the nicest looking wench? Why, it's Gruncy any day. She really takes my breath away. Cough. Yes, you're right. I'm rather proud. My looks stand me out from the crowd. Er, but there is this girl. What do you mean? This cannot be. There's no one prettier than me. Why, it's Tootie. Tootie, young and small, she's the prettiest girl of the of all. No, 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 you must be mad. Nicer beauty can't be had. Unfortunately, I think you'll find it's Tootie. She's cute and kind. Well... We'll see about that. Hi there, Tootie. What are you going to do today? When my big lazy brother wakes up, we're going on an adventure! Wake up, I want to go on an adventure too! If Tootie thinks she's fairer than me, I'll steal her looks, and ugly she'll be! Is that your brother? Where, Mr. Mole? I can't see him. Up there, in the sky. I don't think so. Who is that? Come to me, my little pretty. You'll soon be ugly. What a pity. <laughs> Let me go, you ugly old hag! Don't scratch and bite, my little bear. You'll soon need bigger underwear! <laughs> oh no, she's got her! Somebody! Help! Banjo, wake up now! <sighs> what do you want to do today? Let's get outside, there's trouble. <laughs> Alright, so here we are, Banjo-Kazooie. Sweet. Alright, so I didn't do any research, which I should have. But I think, um, I do know, I've seen this game played through, and I think there's some collectibles we can get right off the bat. But first, we have to talk to this guy. Listen up, I'm Bottles, the short-sighted mole. I'm Banjo, and this here's my buddy Kazooie. Sure is a strange-looking buddy, Banjo. Can it talk? Better than you can, goggle boy. What was all that noise about? Where's my sister, Tootie? The ugly witch Gruntilda swooped down out of the sky and grabbed her. Calm down, Geeky, we'll get her back. Where did she go? She flew up to her mountain lair. She... 
it's really dangerous, so you'll probably need some training before you go up there. Press A if you want me to teach you some basic moves, or press B if you think you're already good enough. I'm going to accept training, of course. We'd like some help, Bottles. What do we do? Explore this area and look out for my molehills. Stand next to them and press X to call me. See you soon. Okay, so we press X to call Bottles. It looks like we jump with A, and we crouch with right and left trigger. The bumpers, I think, just centers the camera behind us. Okay, so they're like the Z button in Ocarina of Time. You move around with the left stick, and you change the camera angle with the right one. That's cool. What does X do? Nothing. What does Y? Y is first person. B, nothing. At least not yet. Okay. Sweet. So, first of all, this thing right here. I know a little bit about this game. Like I said, this is my first playthrough, not a blind playthrough. This thing spinning over there is an empty honeycomb piece. And I think you need six of them to completely fill up... Um, oh, yeah, we need to get this move first, I think. Um, to completely fill up the... Um, to get an extra honeycomb, which is, how, which is what your health is divided into. What do moles know about jumping? More than you. Press A to jump and hold it to jump higher. That's what I was trying to do earlier. Oh. Come on, feathers. You can give him a hand. Why? I look silly. I know it. Jump, then press A again in the air for a double jump. Okay. That's it. We're ready to move on. Not until you learn this one. First, you must stand like this. What? Wearing ridiculous glasses and a silly grin? <laughs> I'm not listening. Hold the right or left trigger, then press A for the mighty flap. I, I have to look back what that is in post, but it's basically a backflip jump from Mario. Except a little different. That's all the jumps. Keep practicing. All right, so sweet. Um, I believe that... Oh, man. I'm <laughs> already having trouble with uh, 3D platforming. Not good. Okay, so sweet. We'll want to adjust the camera angle this way. And to get this empty honeycomb piece... Are we gonna, do we have to... Do, no, we probably have to backflip jump here, don't we? Yeah. Alright, so that's one of, yes, six needed. I'm an extra honeycomb piece. Collect six of us to increase your energy bar. Alright, I don't... Uh, one thing, I will say one thing. I love the game so far because this graphics look great to me. I love the art style. However, I don't like the auto, like, auto-continuing text. Especially for me, who sometimes uh, stutters when reading out dialogue. Not good. Alright, so over here, I think you can get all... S oh, no. I think you can get six honeycomb pieces, actually, um, in the overworld. I'm not sure, though, because I know where I think four of them are. Speaking of one of them, I think one of them is on top of one of these trees. Is, yeah, I saw it over there. I saw it. I'm, I'm pushing, like, forward to try to go into first person. I don't know what game it is you press forward. No, it's the C-Stick from uh, Twilight Princess. Get up. Climb the tree. Come on, Banjo. Um, I will say one thing that surprised me thus far is I thought the uh, that Banjo's sister was Tui. I thought her name was Tui. I know. I've never I've never gotten into the Banjo-Kazooie series before, so I know next to... Can I please get up this tree? I probably need to talk to Bottles and get a move to climb up a tree or something. Hey, Bottles, what's up? Fancy learning to swim underwater? Oh, sounds difficult, and I'll get my fur wet. Come on, Banjo, I want to swim. Spill the beans, Specky. <laughs> Use the left stick to swim on the surface. To swim underwater, press X to dive. Go on, give it a try. Sweet. So, left trigger on the surface, and then we dive. Sweet. While underwater, Banjo can press A to kick his legs, and then... And the winged wonder can press X to use her wings. So it looks like I'm going to be pre spamming X when I go underwater. Um, oh, I, I, I remember. There is something. Is it down here? We haven't yet learned the whole ground pound technique quite yet. But I can see places where the legs are going to be useful. Now, um, Flash, <laughs> since I know you'll be watching this, and I know you know a lot about this game, if you want to swim quickly without using uh, Kazooie's wings, do you, um, s do you spam the button 
to kick with his legs, or do you just hold it down? Or is it all one speed? Tell me that in the comments. I, I get the feeling you're going to be one of my saving graces, unless one of my other viewers knows a ton about Banjo-Kazooie as well. So yeah, speaking of uh, why I'm doing this, I actually figured out about this game originally from Super Genius uh, about a year ago, and um, I thought it looked interesting, and I wanted to give it a try, but I never really, I don't know, I never really had the inspiration to actually give it a shot. I want to get up this tree. I don't know why I cannot make it up this tree, and it's annoying me. Come on, seriously. Tree. Why can I not climb this tree? Urgh. Do I need to, like, press X or something? I feel like Bottles should be giving me some tips and tricks on how to climb a tree. Uh, maybe we have to go find Bottles in another location. Anyway, I was heading this way, and then I think I fell or something. So I never actually, like, officially got it. But I think there's an empty honeycomb piece over here. Is this it? Oh, no, I fell again. Yeah, that's what I was doing as I was getting it, and then I fell. Okay, so it was X to use Kazooie Wings. Sweets, that's definitely a lot faster. Maybe you're supposed to... Well, I don't think you can use a combination of both. Anyway, yeah, Banjo-Kazooie. Um, I can tell you one thing. This Let's Play... Um, I'm going to be researching the game since it's, since it's just a blind playthrough. Or it's not a blind playthrough. Um, what is that behind the waterfall? Oh, I love secrets behind... No! I fell again. Ah. Anyway, like, like I was saying, I love secrets behind waterfalls, so I'll be interested to see what this is. As I take a drink of water. Yummy, yummy water. All right. Sweet. So, um, let's see. I think we'll probably we'll try to enter Gruntilda's lair. All I know, all I know is, and I, I wanted to say it during the cutscene, but I decided not to, not to talk during it. Um, Gruntilda seems like a fantastic villain. Just saying right off the bat, I already found her very entertaining. So that was, I guess, an extra life. Look out for me, I'm an extra life. Oh, yeah, I guess it is. Cool, so we just collected our equivalent of a 1-up. Um, anyway, I was get I was talking about what got me into this game. Um, originally it was Super Genius, I heard about it from him. And then, you know, I decided it looks kind of fun, but I'm not really going to try it yet. I'll talk to him in a second after I finish my story. Um, and then I heard Josh Jepson talk about how it was one of his favorite games or whatever. So then I got a little more interested. And then Flash just sort of, when he started Banjo-Tooie, um, he told me to get it. So I decided to get it. Hey, Banjo, I hope you're not afraid of heights. I'm not. Tell me about flying. Not yet. banjo Jump onto a tree, then use the left stick to climb up or down. So I did need to learn that move. That's the, uh, the tree of doom. Sweet. You'll find plent plenty of things to climb. All right, so sweet. Um, There don't seem to be enemies in the opening world. Oh, I just went into screensaver. There we go. That's four honeycomb pieces. I think there's six. Which is why I don't want to actually enter Gruntilda's lair in this episode. We'll get up there, but we're not going to actually enter it, I don't think. Um, this series, it might be kind of long, but it's going to use a lot of viewer input to help me throughout the game. Because I don't really have a series like that where you guys help me that much. Because most of the series that I do, I know a lot about. So my break barge attack needs the help of old chicken legs. At least I've got some legs. <laughs> Hold the right or left trigger, then press X for a powerful beaky barge. Sweet. So I think... There we go. That's cool. Do we get to punch with Banjo? I should have been read reading that dialogue, but whatever. Alright, so that's five honeycomb pieces. We need one more, and then we can actually get another unit of health. Where are we going to... Oh... There's a bottles thing right here. What's up, fool? Er, anyone home? Hello again. Let's start with the camera control. Oh, yeah. Camera controls. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tap the left bumper to move the camera behind you. I already sort of figured out these controls right away. And then we can hold it to keep it behind us. 
or to be well to follow us not really keep it behind us um okay sweet so we have five of six honeycomb pieces um i'm hoping that's all of them for some reason i don't think it is maybe we'll find another one on the way up or something those are the only five I seem to remember from the Let's Play that I watched, like, six months ago. Um, oh, can we can we do a shortcut? Let's shortcut already. Why not? What? Banjo! Come on. All right. Let's do that again, but let's not try to shortcut. We'll walk all the way around the, the mountain. All right, so let's let's just let the music play for just a minute, and um, here we are. We're nearing the top, and 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 this guy. Hey, where are you guys going? We're off to whack the witch and rescue Tubi. You haven't learned all the basics yet. She'll kick your butt. She can try the old hag. <laughs> the bridge is broken, and I'm not fixing it until you learn all the moves. Come on, Kazooie, let's go and find the ones we missed. Uh, <laughs> let's use this opportunity to press Y. Let's see. Oh, it's the right stick, and it's also inverted controls. Um, can I change that? Options. Controls. Can I just go to settings and change the settings? Music volume, sound effects volume, restore... Okay. Um, I guess I can't, so that's no big deal. Leaderboards, Chiefs, and then exit game. So resume game, I guess. Um, did we talk to him right here? I don't... Yeah, we did, because that's when we, um, learned how to swim. Where is the last one? I've probably looked at it like a hundred times, and I'm just being blind. Ow! That kind of hurt just a little bit. Just tad bit. Oh, this area up here. This is where we're going to learn about combat, I think, if I remember. Alright. Banjo, it's time for you to learn the claw swipe attack. Simply press X when standing still or moving slowly. Sounds good. What can I try it out on? Well, how about a bird? How, how about bird brain? <laughs> I, I'm not going to attack Kazooie. There's Topper whacking, Banjo. Topper. Get over here, fool. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. There we go. We got him. Nice one. Try another. Hey, I want some moves. All in due time, my friend. Awesome. Now try my fearsome forward roll. You, you learn to fly eventually, I think. Rolling an X. All right, so we got this guy dead. Bullseye, one more. Stop rolling, I feel sick. Haha. <laughs> awesome. It's time for the buzzard to learn a trick. <laughs> yeah, it better be a good one, Squinty. Try out the rat -a tat rap by jumping and pressing X in the air. Now, where's Kaliwobble? Kaliwobble. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow, that is a cool attack. I like that. Mm, not bad, Featherface. Give me another. Boogie. <laughs> Boogie eyes. I think that's what she said. Oh, here we go. This is our last honeycomb piece. It is. Fantastic. That's it. You've learned all the basic moves. Meet me at the top of the spiral mountain, and I'll tell you what to do next. So I'm pretty confident that I have collected everything there is to collect here in World 1 of Banjo-Kazooie. So I'm going to head up Spiral Mountain. Right now, there are now monsters who give me honeycomb. And honeycomb is like a coin in Mario, I believe. Uh, it replenishes your HP, basically. Your health. It's not an RPG. It's more of a uh, sort of like open world, I guess. So yeah. Let's get going really quick and jump up here and head up to the top of the spiral mountain where we will enter 
Gruntilda's domain, and we're already looking at 22 minute episode. That's no big deal. Well done, guys. You're ready to tackle the witch now. We sure are. Show us the way, bottle boy. I fixed the bridge so you can cross it and enter Gruntilda's lair. Thanks, bottles. Look out for me inside. Good luck. All right, guys. So next time on Banjo Kazooie, we are going to enter into Gruntilda's lair. Thank you all so very much for watching this episode, guys. I'll see you on the next one. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like. And again, leave me those tips and tricks in the comments below. I'm going to look up the information of what we need for what we need to collect for the first world of the game, and I'm going to do my best to 100% this game on my first playthrough. Thank you all so very much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.